The new 10 year anniversary update has arrived to GTA Online this week, which has brought about a ton of game changes along with a ton of great discounts as well. And so today on the show, we're going to be talking about these discounted opportunities and I will be giving you guys a review and a breakdown of some of the best purchases that you can acquire this week in GTA Online. This video is all about what to buy and also about what to avoid buying this week. As always, I will have my weekly money guide specifically to help you maximize your money grinding because we have some fantastic opportunities in the bonuses department, but just for today, we will be reviewing the discount. So if you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online and Rockstar Games, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Jumping in, let's discuss our property discounts first, and then we will get into all of our amazing vehicle discounts. Starting off, we have 50% off all agency properties, upgrades, and modifications. The agency is a fantastic business that will allow players to play the game in several different ways and make some really good money while doing so. On the topic of upgrades and renovations and everything else that's included in the agency, we actually have several options here. On the entrance floor, you can interact with your security guard and access services such as selecting personal vehicles, using helicopters from Pegasus, or opting for the SUV service for quick travel. The operations level upstairs features a meeting room with an armory option, workstation desks, a break area with snacks and drinks, a rec room, and an arcade machine, and the armory specifically provides you with discounted weapons, weapon upgrades, and equipment, and then we have the personal quarters where you get your typical wardrobe, bathroom, bedroom, TV, as well as a kitchen and an arcade machine, and then the garage level provides storage for all your personal vehicles with an additional workshop option on the top floor. Now, with the agency when you buy it, we have several different ways to make money. You can play the VIP contract, also known as the Dr. Dre contract, or what Rockstar likes to call it, the data leaks, and these involve a series of free mode as well as instance missions, and the Drake contract pays $1 million upon completion and consists of a multi-part mission involving multiple locations and tasks, but this week it's double money, so you're getting paid $2 million, which is going to make back your cost and your expense of buying the nightclub twofold just from doing the mission there. You can also do security contracts, which are more free mode missions that can be started from your agency computer, and the pay of these range from $30,000 to typically like about $70,000, $75,000. Then we have payphone hits, which are basically just payphone assassination nations with bonuses for following specific instructions and if you take out the target without the special condition you'll only get 15 grand but completing the mission with the special requirement you'll get an additional 70 thousand dollars for a total of 85 grand for only a few minutes of work you have the short trip missions which allow you to play as franklin and lamar and these pay out fifty thousand dollars per mission and then there's the agency safe this is a really good passive way of making money granted you've done a lot of the security contracts first the agency safe can accumulate up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and each contract completed by the player permanently increases the daily revenue you get with the safe by one hundred dollars but it should be noted the maximum daily income is capped at twenty thousand dollars which necessitates the the completion of 201 contracts to reach this peak daily earnings so just keep that in mind next up we have 40 percent off all garages honestly what else can i say about these the more vehicle storage the better Next up, let's talk about all of our vehicle discounts. Starting off, we have 40% off the Bravado Buffalo STX. This vehicle has exceptional performance in the muscle class, and it can even compete with a lot of sports class vehicles. It boasts a high top speed and excellent acceleration, similar to the Gauntlet Hellfire, which is also another Bravado vehicle, and its braking power is slightly better than the Hellfire. The car's handling is also really stable, similar to the Dominator GTX if you've driven it, which means it maintains traction even during those really hard corners at high high speed and it doesn't spin out like other muscle cars. The Buffalo STX and other vehicles in the game from the same update can also be customized with Imani Tech, like the remote control unit, allowing this car to be driven around remotely in first person view. We have the armor plating upgrade which provides greater resistance to explosives, allowing you to tank 3 RPGs, 11 homing missiles, or even 9 heavy sniper mark 2 explosive rounds, and then the bullet resistant windows which can withstand 15 rounds as well. The missile lock-on jammer prevents the homing launcher and other weaponized vehicles from targeting this car, and the driver can operate two front-facing machine guns with decent firepower here. Then we have slick proximity mines which can be installed to cause vehicles passing over them to lose control without dealing any damage. Next up, we should probably mention that discount of 50% off Imani Tech upgrades. Imani Tech is a must-have for those players out there who want to prioritize vehicle defense and tactical advantage. This is an exclusively purchasable upgrade from Imani, which is the game's resident hacker at your age 
agency, so you're gonna need an agency to get these upgrades. And like I said before, these specialized tech upgrades, they focus on defensive capabilities rather than improving the performance of your vehicle in like the raw speed and acceleration department. So you get that remote control unit, you get the out of sight purchasable service, which is a separate edition, and then you can also get your missile lock on jammer. And these are definitely must have, specifically the missile lock on jammer to prevent yourself from getting blown up by oppressor Mark II griefers. Definitely get some Imani tech for your Buffalo STX, the Ocelot Virtue, or the Omnis EGT if you have any of those vehicles. Now next up, we have 40% off the Obey 10F. The Obey 10F isn't just a sports car in this game, it's an absolute speed demon, setting you up for quick getaways and race starts that leave your competitors in the dust. And when it comes to pure, unadulterated speed and straightaways, this car is really a force to be reckoned with. But what really sets it apart is the near flawless handling. This vehicle corners like it's on rails, which allows you to weave through tight spaces and make those high speed turns without losing your grip on the road. Add its braking system that's as reliable as they can get, and you've got a vehicle that's not only fast, but also incredibly agile and responsive. There is a bit of a learning curve if you want to fully tap into what this car can do, but once you get the hang of it, you're going to love it. The Obey 10F is my go-to sports car for racing, high-speed chases, or honestly just joyriding around Los Santos. Next up, we have 40% off the Progen T20. The T20 distinguishes itself as a high-performance machine, perfect for those who love speed in this game. It boasts quick acceleration and an admirable top speed, making it a good contender in those fast-paced races and in-game scenarios. While its agile handling excels during quick lane shifts on open roads, it can occasionally be less responsive in congested traffic, and the car does feature an adaptive rear spoiler that enhances the aerodynamics and downforce of this car, which also improves handling and braking. And when engaged, the spoiler also acts as an air brake, aiding in rapid deceleration. Additionally, the vehicle's all-wheel drive layout ensures nearly instantaneous speed recovery after stops, and overall, with this car, you get a combination of tech-savvy features and really good performance, making it a very, very good choice for those high-speed pursuits and races in the game. Next up, we have 40% off the Pegasi Osiris. The Osiris is a standout vehicle in its class, boasting a quick initial acceleration that slightly outperforms the Zentorno, which we're going to talk about next, thanks to its superior traction as well as the new all-wheel drive layout that this car has, and that makes the Osiris highly adept at cornering, often negating the need for drifts. Additionally, the car excels in off-road conditions surprisingly, holding its own against specialized vehicles when fitted with the off-road tires, so that's definitely more of like a niche type of feature here. And while the top speed of this car is commendable, obviously a lot of supercars do surpass it, but despite the lack of suspension upgrades at Los Santos Customs, which you're going to find aren't there, the Osiris does maintain remarkable stability due to the low profile and the wide wheelbase of this car. After that, we have 40% off the Pegasi Zentorno. The Zentorno stands out as an exceptional supercar in this game, which is particularly known for its remarkable acceleration capabilities. With its potent engine as well as this all-wheel drive system that this car has as well, it can go really, really fast and reach its top speed of 123 miles an hour pretty quickly. That isn't the highest top speed in the game, or not even close to be honest, but it is very competitive and especially coupled with the all-wheel drive system and the swift acceleration, you're going to be good to go around those turns and off the line. The Zentorno also impresses me with its robust braking system, allowing for quick and controlled stops and deceleration, which is a must for those high speed turns and something that you need to maintain control of your car. When it comes to the handling department, the Zentorno also excels thanks to that all-wheel drive layout and its balanced weight, which provides responsive steering and solid grip on the road. But you should be aware of the tendency of this vehicle to oversteer in very certain conditions, like in the rain, for example, which can make it a bit challenging, but very rewarding for those who can master those features. We also have discounts on the Bravado Buffalo at 20% off and 50% off the Obey 9F. Honestly, there's not much to review here. They're definitely lacking in performance compared to all the other vehicles we've reviewed, but they're very cheap. And with those discounts, they're even cheaper. When it comes to what to buy, honestly, for this week, this is like the first time I've ever said it, buy everything. Buy all your garages, buy the agency, get the Buffalo, get the 9F, get the Zentorno, Osiris, T20, the 10F, Imani Tech upgrades, and your Buffalo STX. Obviously, the 10F and the STX are going to be your modern standout choices, but every car on this list today is really good. And in comparison to the rest of the sports and super classes, they are more middle of the pack, but they are still fan favorites in the game and still some of my top choices for vehicles to drive to this day. Like, honestly, every vehicle I've reviewed today are the cars that I drive 
most consistently and you see it in my gameplays as well so you know i'm being honest with that review but with that said we've reviewed every major discounted purchase in gta online for this week i'd love to know what you think about the property and the vehicles on offer for us so definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below hopefully you all enjoyed the video today and if you did hopefully i earned your like on it and of course if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with the best gta online and rockstar games content then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel we consistently talk about updates news information tips tricks and even leaks so we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to follow me over on twitch twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with me outside of youtube and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below with all that being said thank you all so much for watching everyone hopefully you all have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in the next grand theft auto online video adios amigos